So relationships are the most important part of your ministry. And that begins with Jesus. That begins with your relationship with Jesus. I want you to remember that. And his body, right? It's not just you and Jesus. He's the head. You want to be connected to his body. So your theology is important. Your teaching is important. Youth group's important. Small group, all good stuff. But your relationship with the Lord yourself is going to play out into how you minister to your students and your relationships with them. So I love triangles. So this is a helpful way for me to understand relationships. So God, self, and others. These are three relationships that all impact each other significantly. And we want to consider how, how is my relationship with the Lord going? How is my relationship with myself? How is my relationship with others going? All of that is going to play out in your ministry and in your relationships with students. So this means, you know, your glorious, sacrificial, servant-hearted, hilarious ways of relating are going to play out in your ministry. And it also means that your broken, people-pleasing, self-aggrandizing, self-protective, controlling ways are playing out. So you, yourself, your dignity and your depravity, that plays out in your ministry. And that means you, like me, are a person in process, right? You don't have it all right. We don't all know all of what we're doing all the time. We're doing our best. But we are in process until we're made perfect in the new heavens, new earth. So you want to be growing in your understanding of your story. That's incredibly important in your relationships with students. It's an act of service you do to work on your own story with a mentor, a counselor, a supervisor. The effort you put into understanding the ways you relate will play out in your ministry and pay dividends, I'd say, because we really want to be aware of when we're operating out of our woundedness, so our sin, our brokenness, and when we're operating out of our dignity and out of being united with Christ, our identity that's secure here. You are a part of God's vision to undo all the effects of the fall, to make right everything that is wrong in the world, and to make this earth a perfect place through the preaching of the gospel, through the activity of the Holy Spirit, and through Jesus Christ.